Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. In case you're wondering where you've heard it before, it was recently covered by Harry Styles and appeared in the movie Guardians of the Galaxy 2. And older British viewers like myself might remember it as the theme tune from Formula One Racing on the BBC. There are two main parts to this song, there's the cool riff bit at the end and there's the song part at the beginning. I'm actually going to teach you guys the ending first because I've got a feeling that's what most of you are going to want to see, but if you do want to learn the song part then skip ahead to this bit. So, grab your oil can uke, make sure it's in tune, and if you need help tuning your uke, then be sure to download my free app, the ukulele app, right now. And when it is in tune, your uke should sound like this. Now I'm going to teach you how to play this riff on the ukulele and the bass ukulele, so if you have a bass uke as well, then you're doubly in luck. As well as your ukulele, there's also one other key thing that you'll need for this lesson, and that is a Drumbeats app, or Metronome app. I'm using Drumbeats Plus, which is available on the App Store, but I'm sure there's many, many other cool Drumbeats apps available. If you want to play along with me, set your Drumbeats Plus app to 150 beats per minute, and use the dull straight ride beat under Pop Rock 1. Playing along to a Drumbeat or Metronome can really help you stay in time and when you're playing a cool rock song like this, it also sounds really awesome. So just in case you haven't heard the riff for a bit, I'm going to play it through for you first to give you a rough idea of how it should sound when you've learned it. So the basic riff is the bit that goes like this. Now I've got the tab on the bottom of the screen, so if you don't know how to read tab, then check out this video first on how to read tab. But basically, the tune is just played over the top two strings. You start off by playing the open first string, like this. Then you play the open string, then on the second fret, then on the third fret, like this. Then you play the 2nd fret and the open string again, like this. Then you go up to the 2nd string and play the 3rd fret, like this. Then you play open and 2 again on the 1st string. And then you play the 2nd string open again, like this. So all together, on the 1st string it's O, O, 2, 3, 2, O. Then on the 2nd string it's 3. Then on the 1st string it's O, 2. And then on the second string, it's O. So if we put that all together and play it through nice and slowly, it should sound like this. And basically, you just repeat that all the way through the ending. If you want to play that riff on the bass ukulele, then it's exactly the same. But instead of playing it on the first and second strings, you play it on the third and fourth strings, like this. And again, just repeat that riff all the way through the entire end of the song. And guess what? If you have a bass guitar, it's exactly the same on the bass guitar as it is on the bass ukulele. So now we've learned the ending riff, let's learn the beginning song. Grab your regular uke, make sure it's in tune, and let me quickly play you through a verse and chorus to give you a rough idea of how it should sound when you've learned it. One, two, three, four. But if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. I can 
and still hear you saying you will never break the chain. These are the chords that you'll need for the song. If you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of E minor, put your first finger on the second fret of the first string, your second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. And the chord of E minor should sound like this. To play the chord of A, put your first finger on the first fret of the third string, and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And the chord of A should sound like this. To play the chord of A minor, just lift up your first finger, and the chord of A minor should sound like this. To play the chord of C, put your third finger on the third fret of the first string, and the chord of C should sound like this. And to play the chord of D sus2, put your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and your second finger on the second fret of the third string. And the chord of D sus2 should sound like this. Now because it's the ukulele, I'm playing a very, very simplified version of this song. I'm just trying to keep it nice and easy so that everyone can play along. For the intro and verse, I play the strumming pattern down, up, down, up, down, up. For the intro, I play it twice on the chord of E minor, like this. Down, up, down, up. the verse, I play it once on E minor, once on A, and twice on E minor, like this. Down, up, 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 down, up. So when you can play this through twice, you've got your verse. So let's play it through together, nice and slow. Listen to the wind blow, watch the sunrise. takes us into the chorus, and we start off by playing that strumming pattern twice more on the chord of A minor, and then we play one down stroke on E minor, C, and D sus2, like this. But if you don't love me now, you will never love me again, I can still hear you saying you will never break the chain. And then you play a couple more bars on E minor before you go into the next verse. And it basically just goes verse, chorus, intro, verse, chorus, intro, until you get to the ending riff. So download a song sheet, put it all together, and that's how to play The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. I've been the ukulele teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I love you all, and I wish you the best.